One more thing I want to point out, and that is epistemology. Epistemology. That's a word that a lot of people need to learn. It basically means, how do you know what you know? How do you know what you think you know? If someone was to take your blood sample and say, you are confirmed positive for Corona, what do you do? Do you look at them and say, how do you know? And they'll say, well, I gave you the test. Well, if you were a little bit skeptical, you might say, did you create the test? Where'd you get the test? What does the test actually test? How does the test actually know that this virus is different from this virus? How do you actually know? Was it DNA tested? Was it viewed under an electron microscope? How do you actually know? You don't. We have reports of all kinds of false positives. We have reports of all kind of presumed positive cases. In fact, there were reports out of China, if you remember about a month ago, when the numbers out of China spiked overnight, they nearly doubled. Turns out that the confirmed cases came from um, were CAT scans of people's lungs and what they called glass. Basically, they were the little empty spaces in your lungs that filled with fluid, and under, under, a, um, under a CAT scan, it looked like broken glass. That's what they call broken glass. Um, well, you can get that from all kinds of different conditions, but they use that to classify confirmed cases. How the hell do they confirm a brand new virus? Now, for the record, and I've said this before, my wife is a retired virologist. My wife is a retired virologist. She worked in a lab the vast majority of her adult life working with viruses. She was quality control. She worked QC at Merck for the chicken vaccine industry at a facility where they produced 75% of the entire world's chicken vaccine. And she worked quality control. And I asked her, how do you know? And she said, well, you gotta take a sample from a supposed infected patient human or animal, and then you have to isolate that virus. She said you have to grow it in a Petri dish, and then you have to isolate that virus, and then you either DNA test it, or you look at it under electron microscope. Well, if you look at it under electron microscope, what do you get? You get a picture. Oh, that looks a little bit different than this other virus. It doesn't tell you much. It tells you that it looks different. Okay. You have to DNA test that virus, that sample, to know for sure that it is in fact the no novel virus. How else do you know? How do these test kits work? Nobody knows. I don't know. So if you go to your doctor, you go to the hospital and they do the test kit, they run your blood sample and they run a test on you, how do they know? And I'm not suggesting that doctors are in on any conspiracy. They just, look, they're busy, man. They got patients. They're not creating tests. They get the tests. They perform the test. The test comes back positive. There's your positive. How do you know? You don't. And neither does your doctor. He doesn't know. The test says positive, therefore positive. What are they testing for? How does the test work? How does how, does, how do they develop a test so fast they can literally differentiate a brand new virus that has brand new DNA coding that's different from all other viruses, that's similar to other coronaviruses. By the way, keep in mind, corona is a wide variety. SARS and bird flu, these are coronaviruses. Corona, the term, the brand, the species of virus corona has been around for a long time. How do you know this is a brand new version? How do you know? 
And when your test comes back positive, how do you know that that test actually identified a new species of virus? How do you know? How do you know? If your test comes back positive, how do you know? You don't. That's epistemology. How do you know what you claim to know? How do you know what you think you know? How do you know? You don't.